Hello all, how are you all doing? Welcome to Autocraft World YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to speed up your WordPress website using a WordPress catch, WP catch. I'm going to be showing you the exact method I've used to set up W P super cash on all of my website and that of my client. Now, before we move on, I need you to know that there are countless numbers of available plugins to download from the WordPress repository that you can actually use to speed up your WordPress website. All you need to do is log into the admin panel and you can search and download any of such plugins. You can also find such speed optimization plugin from external website. Many companies actually make plugins uh, for websites. I have had different people ask me this question. How do I speed up my WordPress website? I need to make it look faster. Can you please help me out? The thing that I want you to know is this. When it comes to improving your WordPress website, you should have it in mind that several factors may contribute to the entire website being slow. Such factors may include slow internet connectivity, page size, team, hosting platform, images used on your website, and also um, the plugins. All of these actually may affect your website core vitals positively or negatively. And improving your website core vitals actually may include the following and more. One is improve your website position in Google ranking and reduce the size of image in the flip kicks, enhance top pages and performance with code optimization tool, and minify JS CSS to make your code clear, um, optimize a page rendering, minify JavaScript, minify CSS, Minify HTML and leverage browser cache and um, el eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS in the above the full content. Though there are lots of plugins outside that can actually you know, help you to um, make your uh, converters to look positive, I actually recommend you use WP Super Cache because it is actually one of the best WordPress free cache plugin. What it does is to improve your WordPress loading speed and improve user experience by generating stackish HTML files. From your dynamic HTML website or blog. So without much ado, I'm going to go straight into how you should actually install WP Super Cache and also configure it for your WordPress website. Now the first thing you need to do is um, log into your admin panel, uh, go to plugins, and uh, you know active, uh, click on add new and activate the plugin. Now let's go straight to the um, dashboard and let me show you what you need to do. Now that we have logged into our WordPress dashboard, now what we need to do is to go to plugins and click on add new. Now the next thing you need to do is here you type in WP super package. Wait for it to load. Plugins add new. Let's do that again. Plugins add new. Here you type in WP super so wait for it to load and there is it here so click on install so once it's done installing that's what for it so it says it's done installing so we need to activate it click on activate activated now that it's activated let's show what happens okay there is it here so you can go ahead and click on settings or better still will come here on the settings See it here, so let's click on it. Let me see if I catch. So here we are. So the first thing we're going to do, if you take a look at it, it has um, a different tab that we can click on here. So on that easy, it's recommended that you turn on catching, turn it on. Then when you scroll down, so the following recommended settings will be enabled. So once you turn on catching, all these are already. Enabled. So the next thing I need to do is update the status. So click on update status. So, so let's scroll down. We have the test tester, test your cache web server, click on the test button. So it's asking us to test it. No GBC cloud fail or other transparent proxy and proxy service, this test may fail. 
Um, let's actually leave this for now. Let's leave this for now. Come back there. Let's move on to the second tab, which is advanced. Now here, under advanced, this is recommended. And simple is recommended. Then here, disable caching for login users. Now, for if you want to disable uh, caching for login users, you click on here. If you want to enable caching for all visitors, you click here. If you want to disable caching for visitors, so have cookie setting and product go ahead of it. This is recommended. That you should disable caching for login uh, visitors. Depending on the kind of website that you have, if you need to actually, uh, if you require your visitors to the website to actually log in or the password and user name before they are able to get into your website proper. So that's that. Then, right here you can see compressed to you so they are served more quickly to visit. So this is also recommended. So you take it. So this already checks for you. This is also recommended. It says three or four browser caching and full site performance by checking if the page has changed since. So this actually check if the page has changed since it was last uh, requested by a browser or visitor. So let's check it because it's actually um recommended so let's scroll down under the advanced it said enable the dynamic caching um this actually requires an extra um plugin to actually achieve that let's save that for now so we can turn this on it's class extra plugin or team required to do this um that's if you're using um a mobile optimizer a mobile optimizer as a plugin that's make your website to actually be responsive on a mobile so extra home page check is here very occasionally stops on page caching it's also recommended you turn this on so click on it on it now if you want your page to actually only refresh when a comment is made you can go ahead and click on uh, tick this so once you're done scroll down and update your status always make sure um you update your status so once that is done Scroll down again. It's why in a garbage collection. This is garbage collection for your cache. So if you need to schedule garbage collection, you can change this to something like let's say 2400 seconds. So whatever, something should be it's a choice actually. Anything works. So if you want to receive an email notification on this, go ahead and check this. So once you are done, click on change as far inspiration because we just changed um most things there so let's move on to the next tab which is cdn if you're using a cdn you can go ahead and, and use this and uh, jetpack actually provides um a free uh jet uh, plugin and satellite accelerator if you like you can make use of that um but then uh, let's still focus on what so here you can enable cdn support that is if you have if your website is um, on CDN, if not, uh, go to content. Now, under content, here you can actually see your catch, it, catch and uh, the pages and the spare pages here and the size of it. So let's go to preload. Under preload, One of the load and garbage collection is, is, is disable is actually recommended too. Um, yeah, if you want to receive emails about all this, how, how many times you want to receive them, turn it on. If you don't want to, just say, um, leave no email and click on settings. Basically, those are the major, um, all that we have done we are the major settings that you can actually uh, turn on when using Supercatch, unless you want to go add more advanced setting but what i've just done is enough to actually you know increase your web core devices so let's check what we have here under plugins okay so here you i would mod uh, moderation you have cache plugin and pb screen you'll find in the folder it says okay This has to do with your test comment to remove the test your comments are with it moderation when someone leaves a moderated content you either you enable it or disable it whatever you do please always make sure you click on update 
Now, if your cash is actually uh, cash is, uh, only WP cash cash should support the disabled corporation and requires bad behavior. So that's domain mapping. Uh, if you turn on domain mapping, you can either enable it or disable it. Just remember to click on update. And if you're using a Jetpack mobile team, you can, if you're using it, enable it. Yeah, so that WP uh, cache can actually work with it. If not, disable it. Always just make sure you click on update, whatever you choose. If you're using WP Touch, which is actually a um, WordPress responsive plugin to make your uh, website look responsive on mobile, if you're using it, turn this on. If not, just disable. Just always make sure that you click on uh, the update what you choose so basically that's uh, the basic configuration that you're going to need when you're using the wp super catch now do not that's the end of our video for today please do not uh forget to actually subscribe to our channel and uh, also share this video because there's somebody out there that actually that is actually in need of this and also hit the notification button so that you can always be alerted when we upload new videos thank you